Today's, um, today's video could be called Cooking with Azariah Kumar. <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. So what are you doing? Cutting the onion. Okay, so what are we going to make into it? Lamb. Well, what would you call it? Beef chakra. So I'm just cutting the onion. What is it? One pound of beef? One pound of uh, grass-fed grass uh, beef chakras. Okay. So we're making some beef chakras. So, So this is the beef. Uh, I have this meat. So I'm gonna cut this in a half because this is pretty big, thick piece. I'm gonna cut half in the middle here. Yeah, like this. And now I'm gonna I'm going to sear this. Okay, I'm gonna sear this here. Uh, I have a one tablespoon of olive oil here. Yeah. So I'm going to see this in a like a medium high heat, not too high. Because I don't want to log this because I want the, when I'm cooking the juice goes in also. Just cutting some carrots. I'm using the three medium sized carrots and just, just cutting like a, kind of like bigger pieces. Okay, I'm just using one red potato, like a bigger size, like here, and just cut them, like in a chunk, like this uh, piece is like bigger. Okay, so now we're gonna fry this onion, as, as I cut this onion, so a little bit, like lightly, and in the same pan, with a one uh, tablespoon of olive oil we need, and just some oil was there, so that's why we don't need so much. And I already see this beef right here, this meat here. And now we're gonna fry this onion. Maybe like a three or four meat only. So now I'm going to add this uh, potatoes and carrot here. And let's fry this for uh, I can say next uh, six to seven minutes. Potatoes and onion in this bowl. Okay, so now I'm using one tablespoon of olive oil in the same pan and frying this uh, garlic along with uh, this tomato. So I'm using uh, two tablespoon of tomato paste here. And I'm using one teaspoon of rosemary and I'm using one teaspoon of black pepper and half teaspoon of paprika, two teaspoon of sea salt. Put all together here. Just fry them here, like an alarm, like low heat. I just need like a kind of like just a little bit, you know. We don't cooking here. And now I'm going to add some white wine vinegar. So we have a white wine vinegar. If you don't have, you have option. You can use a two tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Four tablespoon of white wine vinegar here. Let's cook uh, this here for one or two minutes and after this I'm going to put this uh, meat here. Just rub this meat right on in these spices like this, both and flip them over, rub them here nicely like this and I'm going to add this uh, vegetable here. And if you have a chicken uh, stock or meat stock, will be great. Uh, otherwise, no problem. I'm going to use uh, water here. So I'm going to use like around three cups of water. And depend if you have like a bigger pot, this is very smaller. And I don't have like much room, so I'm going to use the same pot. Okay, let's. Uh, uh, if you have a Dutch oven, you can cook right here on the stove, like a medium low heat, for one hour and more. Okay, so I'm gonna cover this one. This is parchment paper and then aluminum foil on top. Like this and cover this. Uh, and I'm gonna put this in the oven. Okay, so here I'm putting this in the oven for 350 for hour and a half. So I'm gonna check after that how the meat is. 
and everything so everything looks okay so it's fine otherwise i'm gonna cook this longer so we'll see after one and a half hour okay let's check uh, it's been uh, cooking here for hour and a half so let me check okay so uh, timer is beeping okay let me see here okay let me uh, let me check this meat yeah actually it's almost cooked but i think i like to cook like a little bit longer it's good to like you know meat to fall apart so i'm gonna put this in the back in the oven and veg, veg is done so i'm gonna put this back for 30 minutes and for 400 degrees okay the timer is off and let's see smells so good okay let's open this whoa look at this oh wow nice and good actually and now we're gonna eat this you know if you have a fresh like rosemary fresh rosemary leaves you can just sprinkle this here just cut, chop them smaller and sprinkle them here if you're fresh one and also what is good in this if you have oranges you know cut the oranges slice and uh, cook them here for 10 minutes only when you or just or just lay over here and for 10 minutes will be good now it's uh, tasting time okay this is final presentation let me try some of this meat or oh. mmm so good very good flavor and this is like perfectly cooked you know if you don't want to cook that long you can take out an hour and a half otherwise you can cook uh, for two hours i hope you will enjoy this uh, recipe and if you cook please comment if you like if you have any question you want to cook please uh, comment below and subscribe like my channel and don't forget to click this bell icon so anytime i post any video so you will get like, notification